He is known for his work on 18th and 19th century German intellectual and cultural history. He is recognized for his book that traced the development of national feelings in the 19th century. His name is Friedrich Meinecke. Friedrich Meinecke, a renowned German historian, was a man of complex ideologies and conflicting beliefs. Born in Salzwedel, he received his education at the University of Bonn and the University of Berlin, ultimately becoming a professor at the University of Strasbourg. Meinecke's work primarily focused on 18th and 19th century German intellectual and cultural history, with his book, Weltbürgertum und die Nationalstadt, gaining him significant recognition in the field. However, his legacy is not without controversy. Meinecke's nationalist inclinations were evident in his disregard for the desires of Eastern European peoples, and he even expressed support for German expansionism into the East. During World War I, he advocated for the removal of Polish landowners from Prussian provinces and proposed German colonization in Courland. Some have likened his views to ethnic cleansing. Meinecke's involvement with the German Empire's plans for the annexation of Polish land and the expulsion of Poles and Jews to make room for German settlers further exemplified his alignment with these policies. Despite his nationalist leanings, Meinecke was not entirely aligned with the Nazi regime. While he initially showed sympathy towards the regime, particularly in regards to its early anti-Semitic laws, he became increasingly bothered by the violence and crudeness of the Nazis. Nevertheless, he openly described himself as anti-Semitic and held prejudiced views against Jews, blaming them for the fall of liberalism. Meinecke's conflicted stance towards the Nazis highlights the complexities of his character and beliefs. Do you want to explore more philosophers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.